How's it going there guys? My name is Double Dean. We are back playing The Sims 4. It's been a freaking ages um, since we last played. So I'm trying to think what we were doing last time. If I remember correctly, Junk was... Uh, came new to the neighbourhood, met a few people, and also kind of fell in love with Miss Liberty. So basically what we're going to do is try and get Liberty to move in so uh, she can clean her house full time. Obviously not, that's not the reason why, but I'm pretty sure it would help. So we're going to eat some of that gourmet fruit cake. Mmm, <gasps> delish. What was his job again? Oh, that was it. Um, agency clerk. Wait, when is he next back in? He's not... Oh, he has work in two days, right, okay. That took a lot longer than I was hoping to, to fathom that out. What time is it right now? Right, it's time for Liberty to come on over and we can give her a nice cheeky hug. My pizzicato... what? Pizzicato polka. <laughs> no. Why don't you just bring Liberty over and we can do the last thing to her. Invite to hang out at current lot. Where is she? What? Where is she? How do I get her to come over? Ask on a date. Who is... No, I don't want to go on a date. I just want her to come over. It's like, I've got, I forgot how fucking deep his voice is. Oh, wait, but shabba, shabba. Play a game. No, don't play a game. We're trying to get Liberty over, man. You need to get your nuts wet. Uh, invite to hang out at current lot. There we go. Right. I don't want to chat to you. Just just get them sweet buns over here. God, he's loving it. He's so happy. I've only just realised that like one bit of his hair's puffed up. Hey, Liberty. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say. Uh, last time, we had this little guy. Um, he looks like one of the My Sims dudes. And I don't really know what he does. So we'll need to test him out later. Summer has... Summer holiday. No, I'm sorry. But I don't really care. I want Liberty to come inside. It's <laughs> meanwhile as Summer just looks on from the outside. That's <laughs> just so creepy. She can see everything. Sod off, man. You shit looking Elsa. How do I, how do I, you know, get the moves on her, man. How do you hook someone in this game? Jesus. Oh. I don't know what just happened. The sexual energy just caused a blackout. Woohoo. All right, yeah, why not? How about I whisper seductively? I like your shirt. All right, let's go on. Get on the bed, man. Woohoo with... Liberty Lee. Oh, look at his face, man. He is such a creep, but he loves it. Why does she walk like a sloth? What is wrong with you? That's her PJs. <laughs> She's just been walking around her PJs this whole time. I mean, I like your shirt, but fuck's sake, man. Oh, this is like a very... Sen she just kicked him in the face. Granted, it's not the first time that that's ever happened. I have been kicked in the face while woohooing once. And I also accidentally knocked somebody out of bed, but that's a story for another day, okay. There we go. Boom. Oh, she's... Oh, okay. That's her PJs. You know what, why don't you just move in and we can just, you know, fuck every day. You know, I'm gonna profess my undying love for her because... I get to know her. It's like, oh yeah, we... I, I, <laughs> I love you. But I don't know you. Okay, so while she's just gonna chill over here, I'm gonna go and take a quick shower. And hopefully, she will clean my apartment. There we go. She, uh, she's too good to me. <laughs> how do I get her to move in though? I still don't know how to get her to move in. The worst thing is I can't speed this game up too much because for some strange reason, I still wasn't able to fathom out how to get it to, um, you know, stop bugging like mad. You know, let's, let's make a grilled cheese for me and the, the new missus. Oh, hello. She loves it. That's why she should just stay. Would you like to stay the night? No, no. I was cooking you mac and cheese. No, I wasn't. I was cooking you grilled cheese. I'm a liar. She wants to stay with me. Cause I'm making grilled cheese. Oh no, she's gone. Fuck it all. Close my eyes for a second and she's already left. You <laughs> sly bitch. Well, he's sleepy anyway, so I probably should get him to go to bed. Have I not claimed that bed? So that bed up for grabs. Our lady to return, so we'll invite her back over. I, I just don't know how to get her to move in. Do I have to be her friend? I mean, I know that we're like, you know, doing the do, but do I have to have the friendship meter up as well? Come and be friendly with me. There we go, I have to move in. Please move in, please. Yeah. Wait, BFF, no man, you guys can fuck off. I, I only want, wait, hang on. So we can just get all of them to move in with me. Liberty's gonna be moving in with us. Right guys, so Liberty is now 
part of the household. She's a module cleaner. So she works in sp Oh, we work the same days. It's fine, guys, because I'll t She's back. She's back. Who is she? She caught, blocked me once and she's going to try it again, Paul. No. I don't think so, Lana. What you're going to do is you're going to come and you're going to clean my house. <gasps> and if you try and sneak in while we're having a woohoo, I'm going to fucking fire you. At least now I know who the mystery woman is. Because that was just absolutely creepy. Right, so let's get him fed. Get out of that conversation because, you know, you need, you've got a job to do, alright? She's my caterer, right? Or she's my maid? Is she my maid? Or is she just a friend? I don't fucking get it. So she walked all the way here to turn around and walk back home. What the fuck are you doing? Right. So guys, this is going pretty well. Like, uh, oh wait, it's Sunday. So they're both back at work tomorrow. Yeah, they're both back at work tomorrow. Right, so what we'll do is we will get the whole household. We'll get these two for a nice little date together because they didn't really have one. You know, let's go to, let's go to the park. That'd be a nice little day out, you know, a new couple. Wait, they're not, are they dating? You know, before we do anything, I need to check if these two are actually a couple. They are definitely a couple, right? How do I, how do I find that out? Yes, girlfriend, right, I've got to say, man. She's just coming around and we're fucking in bed and stuff like that and we're not a couple. I literally thought he was heading straight for the kids. I was like, man, <laughs> don't be one of them. Where the fuck are you, where are you going? Where is he going? So Papa's just ran off into the desert. <laughs> I'd left Liberty here on her own. Where on earth are you? Where is he going? I brought you here as a fucking date. So for some fucking reason, the first time he gets here, he just goes up to the nearest bin and rummages it. And now he's gonna run back and fucking well give her, a, a go and chat with her, are you serious? This is like one of the very few times that I'd be like, you know what, I wouldn't even blame her if she cheated on him. So he just ran all the way there to put something, pull shit out of a bin. She's here as well. She's proper fucking stalking us, man. You scrub yourself for that lady. You're gonna do it again. She deserves better. See, it's not a high class fancy date, but you don't need, this is double D's dating advice. You don't need high class dates, right? Some girls do like to just play chess or Xbox. You'd be surprised. Right guys, let's, let's all go home. Oh, she's confident because she fucking whooped him at chess. I love how they both run home single file as well. Ah, <laughs> It starts to that. That's actually quite a nice little touch. They just can't stay off each other, man. That is actually really adorable. Part of me wants to marry them. No, wait. Part of me wants to get them married. That's the one. She just can't stay away from him. It's actually really adorable. She even like looks at his willy in the shower. This is when it turns out that she's actually a bunny boiler. That's kind of strange. I thought that she would have been very, very clingy or look at that family tree. What's her family tree look like? All right, okay, not much better. Right, so tell, yeah, tell him an unbelievable story. No, don't try for a baby. Do not try for a baby. You do not live in the establishment to try for a fucking baby, all right? I'm pretty sure that if he tried to break it off with her, she'd like, she'd find him and she would kill him. Don't let the cute little chick on her tits fool you guys, because that is the face of a fucking psychopath. Uh, she probably needs to go to the toilet. Pee like a champion? Yes. You know, what? I didn't realize that all this stuff was in the game. Look at the way he walks, he's looking. When he needs a piss, he looks fabulous when he walks. He wakes up and then she wakes up about five minutes later and she's like, all right, you in bed. To be honest though, I'm, I'm saying this, but it is kind of cute how like, how she just wants to be around him. She's just so loved up right now. And he's just, wait, she's friends with Billy. Fucking hell man, it's a small world. I wouldn't talk to that fucking big eared freak. Wait, can she? She can drink and fucking piss, man. That's amazing. What's wrong with that one? So she needs video games, right. Okay then, um, we probably do need a bigger TV then. Ah, oh, Penguin Children's TV set. Oh no, the slablet. We'll give her the slablet. Um, there? That should be a game thing, right? Please tell me the fuck it is. Kinds of entertainment slablet, remembrance days when blah 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 blah. Video gaming, there we go. Why has he come home flirty? What happened at work? What did you do? Yeah! 
Brought fucking time. Right, so, received the swiveler. They call me the swiveler. Intelligence research on the computer. We are going to need a, a better, well, better life. <laughs> we are going to need a lot more stuff. Alright, so then we can get him a desktop TV, a desktop TV, a desktop uh, computer. Sitting pretty white chairs. Wait, hang on. Oh, never mind. I've just put that down now. Because he has the swiveler. Is that like a wedding chair? Have I just given him a wedding chair for that? Why is that bar not disappearing? That bar above his head is just not going away. Why is that? Right, I know you're having fun, mate, but you're gonna have to have something to eat. You don't want to be like that kid who played like World of was it like World of Warcraft for ages and then died because he didn't eat. Yeah, don't do that. There we go. What did you do? What the fuck is that? Lindsay. Oh, oh no. Oh, there we go. I can put one on there, and I can put him on there. Oh, she's gone straight to sleep. Yeah, she's gonna have to have something to eat, poop it out, and then use the toilet quick. Wait, hang on. Have something to eat, poop it out, and then use the toilet. So basically, I'm just saying she's going to take a shit on the floor. See, when he sounds uncomfortable and he's crying, it doesn't sound as sad. But when she does it, it, it breaks my heart. Oh, shit, you're late. No, get to work quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, you dickhole. Now, we're sending Liberty Lee off to work. And then, we shall call this a video. They should have thought for the maid. That's what I pay her for. Wow, she's just turned up. She's not fucking happy with it either. Right, guys. Well, that's it for today's video. Um, let me know what you guys think I should be doing next. Should I get them married? Should I start focusing on having kids? Should I expand this place out or maybe look towards moving them into a bigger accommodation? Let me know in the comment section below. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Until next time, catch you guys later. Maybe if she thinks this is cute, she's got to put up with him farting every fucking morning. I wonder if she's down for a cheeky Dutch oven.